Well, a local nonprofit hopes to increase support for those of us experiencing the winter blues. And in fact, the winter blues can be amplified during the pandemic. We're joined now by Wendy Standifer, a director of behavioral health services with Easter Seals, Michigan. Wendy, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. So you guys are offering coping boxes to help people get through uh, these difficult times. Boxes are all the rage, uh, so many different types of boxes, types of boxes, but I've never heard of coping boxes. Tell us what is in a coping box. So I have it a little bit behind me, but we put together some, um, a great variety of things to kind of help people right now through the winter blues. So it's all kinds of things that might make you cuddle up like a blanket. There's a amazing um, cordless jumping rope. So we all need know we need to get some exercise. We need to get out there in the sun and feel that sun on us. Mm -hmm. Get rid of all those little winter blues. We've got a water bottle because it's really important that you hydrate right now. We have fidgets in there and lavender. But my favorite is the bath, uh, the chocolate hot uh, ch chocolate bomb. Who doesn't need chocolate, right? Oh, absolutely. And then there's also some journaling and an eye mask and then a really great arts and crafts book. Um, so it's all the different ways that you can kind of take care of yourself and kind of pamper yourself. Absolutely. Self-care is so important. So what caused you guys to actually decide to go with uh, coping boxes and tell us a little bit about how you're using them? Yes, yeah, so we um, obviously during this time, we're seeing a huge increase of individuals receiving services with us. And so that's wonderful, but it, we usually do a lot of fundraising and we have fundraising events, but with the pandemic, we've kind of had to shift how we do our fundraising. And we know that people are Zoomed out, right? They're really tired of being on Zoom. And we wanted to give the individuals that we serve something to help cope, not only with some of their mental health symptoms, but just the winter blues. So this allowed us to not only create boxes that you could either buy for yourself and keep it or give to a family member because everybody could benefit for it, mm -hmm. or you could also donate it and then the individuals that we serve are going to get one of these boxes. The real exciting piece is in addition to all these boxes that are getting donated, there are going to be 20 surprise and delights. So in addition to the box, they may get an iPad or a $200 Amazon gift wow. card. I know, right? It's like the lucky ticket. Without a doubt. So we're talking about uh, the winter blues. Tell us a little bit about some of the symptoms for folks at home that aren't sure if that's what they're suffering or maybe it's something like seasonal affective disorder. What, are, what should they be on the lookout for? So I think that anybody that's ever lived in Michigan knows the winter blues. It's five months of lack of sunlight and cold and snow. So I think everybody experiences, they might be tired and sluggish. They might be having some feelings of anxiety or depression or loneliness. And especially with the pandemic, we're not doing what we normally do. We don't have the same connections. We're not going out. We're not seeing people. So then there's a sense of isolation. Seasonal affective disorder is when you have those symptoms much more intensified. Mm -hmm. They're happening on a daily basis. You're feeling uh, depression. You might see appetite changes, weight gain, weight loss. You might be easily agitated. Mm -hmm. You might be having a hard time focusing or concentrating. But it's pervasive and it's happening every day at right. minimum for the last two weeks. All right. Wendy uh, Standifer uh, with Easter Seals, Michigan. Thank you so much for joining us. And folks can find information on the boxes at your website, correct? Yes, www.easterseals.com slash Michigan. All right. Thank you so much, Wendy Standifer with Easter Seals, Michigan. Uh